Good morning. It's Thursday, November 7, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Passing Along the Faith, and our scripture is Psalm 145. I will exalt you, my God and King, and praise your name forever and ever. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. Let each generation tell its children of your mighty acts. Let them proclaim your power. I will meditate on your majestic, glorious splendor and your wonderful miracles. There's a saying that's bothered me as really dumb ever since I first said it. It goes like this, I'm not going to press faith in God on my kids. They can choose when they're old enough. The psalmist, King David, echoed the incredibly important weight of responsibility for parents to pass along the faith of our fathers to the next generation, telling children of the power and loving kindness of God. Frankly, this issue is much too important to let the formative years of childhood pass without exposing children to even the basics of scripture, worship, and living faithfully as a child of God's creating. When God called Abraham to be father of a nation that was to be very special to God's purposes and preserve that nation even in Egyptian captivity, the name of God was to be central to all they did. It was so important, Moses wrote down the instructions, Deuteronomy chapter 6. Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord alone, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I am giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you're at home and when you're on the road, when you're going to bed and when you're getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Simply put, the parent who fails at this point is disobedient to what God has commanded. Unfortunately, as a young parent, I thought that really dumb statement was a good choice. I didn't want to be quote-unquote guilty of hauling my children to church if they didn't want to go. But the more I matured, the more I began to realize I was attempting to be my children's buddy. In the doing, I was avoiding being their parent. We would never apply that let the children choose nonsense to things like brushing their teeth or allowing them to choose to stay up all night playing video games when they had to be up early for school the next day. And as important as those issues are, healthy teeth and applying oneself to getting an education are temporal matters. In a hundred years, nobody will remember your GPA or if you had dentures. By comparison, coming to terms with your eternal soul and your standing before God is a matter that carries weight to the far reaches of meaning and purpose in the universe. For you today... If you're a parent, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, or just someone who has influence in a child's future, check closely what real impact you're having on the next generation. Parents have a responsibility to see to it that their children form good personal habits, manners, language, and attitude. These are simple no-brainers. If you don't do that for your children, they'll grow up to be selfish, obnoxious adults. If you fail at teaching them who God is, you've blown it eternally. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.